Hello everyone, welcome to SF Research Channel. In this video, we are going through the concepts of identity providers and service providers. We will be talking specifically in the context of Salesforce, uh, but these two concepts are uh, applicable in the general software world also. Salesforce can act as an identity provider and a service provider. So when we when Salesforce acts as an identity provider, uh, it will be providing identity for other systems. Uh, at a very high level, if we just check the definition, identity provider is a trusted service that uh, enables users to access other external applications without logging in again. So in our case, uh, in Salesforce context, what it means is uh, when we will be logging into Salesforce and uh, there will be a connected app. Uh, that is defined uh, to use either SAML or OpenID protocol and it is already configured and then users after logging into Salesforce they will be clicking this connected app icon from app launcher and then they will be directly logging into the exchange to the external application they will be automatically logged in so a, a common example could be uh, Salesforce you want your Salesforce users to log into your company's payroll internal payroll application without any additional extra login or logout so in, instead of logging in a second time you'll be just clicking a button from Salesforce and you'll be automatically logged into uh, the to the external application so if you check the application flow it will be from salesforce uh, you'll be clicking connected app that is using either saml or open id protocol and then it will log you into external application without any additional username or password prompt so this is the visual flow of the same thing you will be providing your salesforce uh, identity here username and password and you'll be logging into salesforce at this point salesforce has already established your identity and uh, if the external application is ready to trust your salesforce instance as an identity provider uh, you can configure the connected app with a certain configuration and uh, when you click on that app this uh, connected app icon from app launcher you will be logged into the external application automatically this external application could be another salesforce instance so this could be a salesforce to salesforce login where uh, this first instance of salesforce is acting as your uh, identity provider and using that you are logging into other salesforce instances so then what is a service provider right so service provider is any service that accepts the identity from an external identity provider so there are uh, common or trusted identity providers uh, salesforce can act as an identity provider also you you might have seen uh, this login with with facebook or login with the google uh, options in the login screen right so that's because uh, these are trusted identity identity provider so if you have an account with uh, google or uh, facebook uh, and uh, if you are if your application is ready to trust that identity to allow you to you to login uh, then uh, your application is a service provider and these external identities like uh, facebook google these are uh, identity providers uh, but Salesforce also can act as a service provider accepting identity from somewhere else. So it's a common example in enterprise scenarios where uh, your company has a corporate uh, login and uh, you want you don't want your Salesforce users to enter their credentials separately. Instead, they can just uh, uh, log in using single sign-on directly into your Salesforce instance using your company credentials. So a good example will be when you go to Salesforce login screen, it will be you will be redirected to the identity provider screen, and the identity provider will either uh, prompt you for a username and password if you are not logged in already. If you are already logged in, it will uh, send either it will use either SAML or OpenID protocol and uh, directly log you into Salesforce. So how does the flow work for this, right? We'll be seeing a real demo for this. Uh, but a good example will be you want your Salesforce users to log in into Salesforce using their corporate Google account. So com some companies are using uh, business Google accounts, right? So it's common in such companies to allow uh, to log into your Salesforce instance using this Google identity. 
so without much delay let's go into a quick demo it's a little difficult to show the demo demo of uh, launching an external application from salesforce basically the example of salesforce acting an identity provider is a little bit more difficult to configure so we'll be going through that in detail in a future session but uh, the it is really easy to configure to use an external entity provider in salesforce in this example i have used uh, google and uh, my linkedin account uh, as identity provider to my salesforce instance here we are using open id i am not using any saml or anything like that instead it is using a version of oauth flow and it is returning open id protocol and uh, it, it will log me into salesforce so what i need to do is just to click on my linkedin button so since i am already logged into salesforce in a split second i'll be logged into uh, salesforce basically what you didn't see is in, in between it went to linkedin and verified that uh, i am logged into linkedin and then it redirected me back to my salesforce instance so how it is configured is uh, by using all all the auth providers settings in salesforce if you go to auth providers here you can see i have configured these two settings uh, it, it's very easy to configure like if some minimal settings only you have to configure here and then under my domains you will have to add uh, these authentication providers so that it will display in the login page we'll be going through this in detail in future uh, but yeah, this is a quick demo of Salesforce acting as a service provider, accepting an external identity provider. In the example that we saw, it was LinkedIn was our external identity provider. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you guys liked it. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel.